from the movie Coraline. I'm uh, the writer and director of Coraline. Writer yeah. and director. And I've seen all these uh, previews going on, and I've been very excited to come and see this movie. Stay excited. That's what we like. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the movie and how you got the idea? Um, it's based on a great novel by Neil Gaiman, and it's the, the story of a girl who discovers a better version of her life through this secret door. A little bit of Alice in Wonderland, but what she meets in the other world is more Hansel and Gretel. So a, a wonderful place becomes a scary place, and uh, she has to get back home. Well, after that pitch, I'm sold. I'm going to see it. Done. <laughs> it's an animated feature, and it's, uh, I've been involved with that for the last three and a half years. Really? It took three and a half years to do Coraline? Only three and a half years. Only three and a half years. <laughs> Quite a commitment. Huh? Wow, yeah. no, I, we had no idea that it took so long to do an animated film. The feature films seem to take uh, large chunks of time, but um, if they're good, they last a while. Uh -huh. What's your favorite part um, doing an animated film like this? Um, hitting the red carpet at the Annie's. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to us, right? <laughs> yeah. How did you get involved in doing animation? Oh, um, it, it, it goes back. It was uh, just like to um, play with puppets and see how they could come to life and did a lot of drawing. Uh, I, I go way back. I went to school with John Lasseter and Brad Bird, John Musker. Tim was right behind us. So we were in this first wave of people out of Cal Arts. And uh, you know, it just it's what I love to do. It just goes from there. Yeah. Oh congratulations. Oh I'm not gonna pick favors. I'm just uh, I'm glad to be in the same building with Nick Parks. Uh, oh, yeah. Nick Park is a total uh, hero of mine. He's you know creator of Wallace and Gromit. He's won a million Oscars and Annie's, and uh, it's really cool to be here with him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's cool to be here with you too, and yes, I appreciate sure. you taking the Thank time. You very much. All right. Good luck Have a you. great night. Thank you. Thank you. Did you get into composing for animation? Well, um, first and foremost, I guess I'm a film composer, and and then just I, I don't know. You you know you send out demos on gigs and stuff like that, and I, I started doing. I did Harold. I did Johnny Quest. I did Stuart uh, Stuart Little. And then George Lucas asked for a demo, and I, I was able to get that gig. So, congratulations! Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. I, I think computer graphics is the big way it's growing visually. Um, musically, I think it's gone all kinds of different places. You know, you, you have like your SpongeBob's, and you, you, you have your crazy stuff. Um, you also have Family Guy, where they're still using a nice band and stuff. Really great guys that are doing music on Family Guy and, and uh, Alf Clausen doing The Simpsons, you know, really class A composers, some of the greatest composers ever in the history of television, really, you know, Alf Clausen and the guys who, who are doing Family Guy, I'm sorry, their names are escaping me, but so, I mean, there's a wide variance, I think. I, I'm trying to do something different, a little more orchestral, a little, you know, like the Star Wars movies were, uh, larger in scope. So um, that's my thing. Then, yeah. Is there anyone here that you're rooting for? Uh, yeah, I think. Well, I, is, is Fred Willard nominated? Because he's, I, not. he's, he's not. not. He's oh, he's presenting. You know, I worked with Fred a long time ago. I did the music for DC Follies, which was that puppet show. You know, political puppets. So. Um, no, you, you know, the, the thing about shows like this is I sort of wish there, there weren't any winners. I, 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 th I think it would be nice if we were all nominated and then we all just got to go get drunk together and stuff. <laughs> love your dress, by the way. I love yours. Thank you, thank you. Who designed this? I guess. Uh, Tadashi. I'm just glad I'm standing next to you. <laughs> I can't believe we're having this conversation. <laughs> so I'm uh, psyched with your, all the big movies. Is this your first nomination? Yes, in my first feature. Wow. Yes. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for you right now. Thank you. Um, I, bet, I bet you're a little excited right now. <laughs> probably just beaming and probably took a few hours to get ready. She's like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. So congratulations. Thank you very much. This is your first feature and you're here with all these greats and legends that have been in this business for a while. What is that like for you to know that you're up against them on your very first feature you've ever done? That's got to be exciting. I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. It was just such a, I got the phone call and somebody said congratulations. I said, for what? I had no idea. It was just so. Did you drop the phone? Uh, uh, practically. <laughs> I got really happy. How did you get involved in this? Um, I was a huge fan of an Israeli writer by the name of Edgar Keret when I was in film school and I was dying to work with his words. and. Awesome. Um, studied some animation and uh, adapted the short story and together we decided to make a feature after the short had some success. But this was this was the baby that I wanted, you know, to have first. Congratulations on your award tonight. I wish you all the best.